In mathematics, an order topology is a certain topology that can be defined on any totally ordered set. It is a natural generalization of the topology of the real numbers to arbitrary totally ordered sets. If X is a totally ordered set, the order topology on X is generated by the subbase of open rays a infinity equals x a x display style a in a t equals x mid a minus infinity b equals x x b display style in a t b equals x mid x for all a b in x. This is equivalent to saying that the open intervals a b equals x a x b display style a b equals x mid a together with the above rays form a base for the order topology the open sets in x are the sets that are a union of possibly infinitely many such open intervals and rays a topological space X is called orderable if there exists a total order on its elements such that the order topology induced by that order and the given topology on X coincide. The order topology makes X into a completely normal Hausdorff space. The standard topologies on R, Q, Z, and N are the order topologies. Topic: Induced order topology. If y is a subset of X, then y inherits a total order from X. The set y therefore has an order topology, the induced order topology. As a subset of X, y also has a subspace topology. The subspace topology is always at least as fine as the induced order topology, but they are not in general the same. For example, consider the subset y equals minus 1 1 n an element of n in the rationals. Under the subspace topology, the singleton set minus 1 is open in Y, but under the induced order topology, any open set containing minus 1 must contain all but finitely many members of the space. equals <laughs> topic an example of a subspace of a linearly ordered space whose topology is not an order topology. Topic: Though the subspace topology of Y minus one one n an element of n in the section above is shown to be not generated by the induced order on Y, it is nonetheless an order topology on Y. Indeed, in the subspace topology, every point is isolated, i.e., singleton Y is open in Y for every Y in Y. So the subspace topology is the discrete topology on Y. The top topology in which every subset of Y is an open set, and the discrete topology on any set is an order topology. To define a total order on Y that generates the discrete topology on Y, simply modify the induced order on Y by defining minus 1 to be the greatest element of Y and otherwise keeping the same order for the other points, so that in this new order, call it say we wish to define here a subset Z of a linearly ordered topological space X such that no total order on Z generates the subspace topology on Z. Z, so that the subspace topology will not be an order topology even though it is the subspace topology of a space whose topology is an order topology. Let Z equals minus 1 0 1 display style Z equals minus 1 cup 0 1 in the real line. The same argument as before shows that the subspace topology on Z is not equal to the induced order topology on Z, but one can show that the subspace topology on Z cannot be equal to any order topology on Z and argument follows. 
Suppose by way of contradiction that there is some strict total order a b. Display style a shall mean that a b. Display style a for each a in a and b in b. Let m equals z minus one, the unit interval. M is connected. If m n element of m and m minus infinity minus one display style in a t minus one and minus one infinity display style minus one in a t separate m a contradiction. Thus m since minus one display style subset a then minus one o equals p a so p a is open. P A equals P A A, so P A is an open subset of M and hence M equals P A B is the union of two disjoint open subsets of M, so M is not connected, a contradiction. Equals. Topic: Left and right order topologies. equals several variants of the order topology can be given the right order topology on x as the topology whose open sets consist of intervals of the form a infinity including infinity infinity the left order topology on x as the topology whose open sets consist of intervals of the form minus infinity b including infinity infinity the left and right order topologies can be used to give counterexamples in general topology for example the left or right order topology on a bounded set provides an example of a compact space that is not hausdorff the left order topology is the standard topology used for many set theoretic purposes on a Boolean algebra. Topic ordinal space For any ordinal number λ one can consider the spaces of ordinal numbers 0, λ equals alpha alpha λ display style 0, λ equals alpha mid alpha 0, λ equals alpha alpha λ display style 0, λ equals alpha mid alpha leq λ together with the natural order topology. These spaces are called ordinal spaces. Note that in the usual set theoretic construction of ordinal numbers we have λ. Topic 0 λ and λ+1. Plus 0 λ. Obviously, these spaces are mostly of interest when λ is an infinite ordinal, otherwise for finite ordinals, the order topology is simply the discrete topology. When λ equals ω the first infinite ordinal, the space 0, ω is just n with the usual still discrete topology, while 0, ω is the one-point compactification of n, of particular interest is the case when λ equals ω1, the set of all countable ordinals, and the first uncountable ordinal. The element ω1 is a limit point of the subset 0, ω1 even though no sequence of elements in 0, ω1 has the element ω1 as its limit. In particular, 0, ω1 is not first countable. The subspace 0, omega 1 is first countable however, since the only point without a countable local base is omega 1. Some further properties include Neither 0, omega 1 or 0, omega 1 is separable or second countable 0, omega 1 is compact while 0, omega 1 is sequentially compact and countably compact, but not compact or paracompact. Topic: <laughs> Topology and ordinals. 
Topic ordinals As topological spaces any ordinal number can be made into a topological space by endowing it with the order topology since, being well ordered, an ordinal is in particular totally ordered, in the absence of indication to the contrary, it is always that order topology that is meant when an ordinal is thought of as a topological space. Note that if we are willing to accept a proper class as a topological space, then the class of all ordinals is also a topological space for the order topology. The set of limit points of an ordinal α is precisely the set of limit ordinals less than α. Successor ordinals and zero less than α are isolated points in α. In particular, the finite ordinals and omega are discrete topological spaces, and no ordinal beyond that is discrete. The ordinal α is compact as a topological space if and only if α is a successor ordinal. The closed sets of a limit ordinal α are just the closed sets in the sense that we have already defined, namely, those that contain a limit ordinal whenever they contain all sufficiently large ordinals below it. Any ordinal is, of course, an open subset of any further ordinal. We can also define the topology on the ordinals in the following inductive way: zero is the empty topological space. Alpha plus one is obtained by taking the one-point compactification of alpha, and for delta a limit ordinal, delta is equipped with the inductive limit topology. Note that if alpha is a successor ordinal, then alpha is compact, in which case its one-point compactification alpha plus one is the disjoint union of alpha and a point. As topological spaces, all the ordinals are Hausdorff and even normal. They are also totally disconnected. Connected components are points scattered. Every non-empty set has an isolated point. In this case, just take the smallest element, zero-dimensional. The topology has a Clopin basis. Here, write an open interval beta gamma as the union of the Clopin intervals beta gamma plus one equals beta plus one gamma for gamma. The topological spaces omega one and its Successor omega one plus one air frequently used as textbook examples of non-countable topological spaces. For example, in the topological space omega one plus one, the element omega one is in the closure of the subset omega one, even though no sequence of elements in omega one has the element omega one as its limit. An element in omega one is a countable set. For any sequence of such sets, the union of these sets is the union of countably many countable sets, so still countable. This union is an upper bound of the elements of the sequence, and therefore of the limit of the sequence, if it has one. The space ω1 is first countable, but not second countable, and ω1 plus 1 has neither of these two properties, despite being compact. It is also worthy of note that any continuous function from omega 1 to r, the real line, is eventually constant. So the stone check compactification of omega 1 is omega 1 plus 1, just as its one-point compactification, in sharp contrast to omega, whose stone check compactification is much larger than omega. Topic ordinal indexed sequences If α is a limit ordinal and x is a set, an α indexed sequence of elements of x merely means a function from α to x This concept, a transfinite sequence or ordinal indexed sequence, is a generalization of the concept of a sequence. An ordinary sequence corresponds to the case α equals ω. If X is a topological space, we say that an alpha-indexed sequence of elements of X converges to a limit X when it converges as a net, in other words, when given any neighborhood U of X there is an ordinal beta ordinal indexed sequences are more powerful than ordinary omega indexed sequences to determine limits in topology, for example, omega 1, omega 1 the set of all countable ordinal numbers, and the 
the smallest uncountable ordinal number, is a limit point of ω1 one plus 1 because it is a limit ordinal, and, indeed, it is the limit of the ω1 indexed sequence which maps any ordinal less than ω1 to itself, however, it is not the limit of any ordinary ω indexed sequence in ω1, since any such limit is less than or equal to the union of its elements, which is a countable union of countable sets, hence itself countable. However, ordinal indexed sequences are not powerful enough to replace nets or filters in general. For example, on the Tychonoff plank, the product space omega 1 plus 1 times omega plus 1 display style omega underscore 1 plus 1 times omega plus 1, the corner point omega 1 omega display style omega underscore 1 omega is a limit point. It is in the closure of the open subset omega 1 times omega display style omega underscore 1 times omega but it is not the limit of an ordinal indexed sequence topic see also lower limit topology long line topology Linear continuum Partially ordered space Notes <laughs> 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 <laughs>